Hello, AOS fans, Robin here again. It's a Word Wednesday post. Yes, it's Wednesday, and it is the final Wednesday before Christmas, I believe. I, I recorded these in advance, but yes, there's the final Wednesday before Christmas by the time you watch this. So if I, I won't see you after this, so have a very Merry Christmas. Let's start with that. Okay, what is today's Word Wednesday post? Well, it's today's word is timeline, and here they are. Brrr, brrr. Yes, uh, the war book uh, from What on Earth, uh, the war book timeline collection. So there's actually three books in here. Three books in here. We have a couple of the older editions of these, and they are fab. So let's have a look. Without further ado, we'll start with this one, the science timeline war book. Now, it's a war book. How does that work? It's not going to go on the wall, is it? Well, no, it's not, because the bit that goes on the wall is this bit here which folds out and out and out and out and out. It's two metres worth of folding, which I've dropped. Two metres worth of folding, which you can then stick on the wall. Um, and I'll just hold that up to the camera so you can see the sort of thing that is in there. That's pretty great, hey? So basically, if I could just spend the next 10 minutes of this video folding it all back up again. So this book starts right at the beginning of history. Which I say is a very good place for it to start. So we've got the Stone Ages, we've got, uh, let's have a look, this is a, so this is a science uh, timeline, so we've got Hippocrates, we've got the history of plants, Dr. Shi, a perfect, Dr. Shi, a prefect of Nanyang, uses hydraulic water power bellows to increase the heat of a blast furnace. So we've got science, we've got engineering. So down the side here, it tells you what we've got. And down this side of the timeline, we've got sky and space, transport and com comics, transport and communications, building and invention, earth and land, medicine, biology, physics and chemistry, maths and measurement. So at the bottom here, Babylonians divide a counting system based on the number of 60, establishing divisions of the time of day, 60 seconds and 60 minutes. There you go. That was back in 3000 BCE. For 2 BCE, Meton of Athens discovers, uh, devises a calendar to keep lunar months in line with the seasons. The 19 year cycle features 12 years of 12 lunar months and 7 years of 13 lunar months. Go Meton of Athens. Euclid, uh, Julius Caesar, new calendar is in, introduced at a time when its predecessor, the Meton's characters become out of step with the seasons by three months. So, Meton back in uh, 432, wasn't that great really, was he? Anyway. Uh, we've got two, 250 BCE, give me a lever long enough and I shall move the world, Archimedes, flicking through because time passes, literally. Uh, we've got Da Vinci, uh, Al Zawari, a medic from Al-Andalus in Spain, develops more than 200 surgical tools. Uh, 1628, William Harvey, physician to James I and Charles I establishes blood flows away from the heart in arteries and returns in veins. Uh, Rene Descartes, famous phrase, cogi to sum, I think therefore I am, appears in his principles of philosophy. We go down here, Robert Hooke outlines the principles of elasticity. Hooke's law states an extension of a spring is direct proportion to the load. So this has lots and lots and lots of information in it. So we've got uh, Henry Cavendish measuring the force of gravity. We've got French scientist Gust Gaspar Gustave Coriolis enterprise the transfer of energy in rotating systems, the Coriolis effect. Things named after him. And then, just in case all this text is a bit small for you, because it is a little bit small, uh, especially if it's on the wall, it, they even come with a magnifier. So you can put that, there's a little wallet here, look. A little wallet here to uh, to demonstrate. No, not to demonstrate, a little wallet there that comes, there's a little wallet that this comes in, so you can take that out. And you can look at the text, and it goes right up to, I saw the periodic table in there, and you mentioned the periodic table by Mendeleev, bit of a fan of the periodic table here. Global sea level predictions right up in 2012. Synthetic meat is grown uh, from stem cells in the Dutch laboratory. The Large Hadron Collider. There's a guy here frowning. I'm not sure who he's doing. Oh, it's, it's Deep Blue beating Ga Gary Kasparov. Uh, Andrew Wills pr proves Fermat's last theorem 350 years after its first device. So that is the timeline. That can go on the wall, in a classroom, in your room, wherever you want it. Um, that's pretty cool. We've got space exploration up the top here. Uh, reaching out to Pluto, stealth bomber, uh, space shuttle, uh, so that's the timeline. But then we also have at the end is a chronicle, uh, sort of newspaper, the War Book Chronicle. Greek scientists take giant leap. There's a picture of a man coming out of his bath. Uh, Chinese monks attempt to make anti-death brew, sparks explosive disaster. So these are the headlines. The Lark Descending. New book reveals a series of groundbreaking experiments, including one that proves living things cannot survive without air. This is basically like a fictitious historical 
newspaper of what uh, what might you know what, what went on at the time. This is how, how newspapers might have perceived it, I suppose. Penny drops as apple falls to super scientist. Paris liftoff means the sky is no longer the limit. Father of chemistry is brutally executed. Mr. Lavoisier's work for the pre-revolution regime unfortunately made him many enemies. So there's a fantastic these go on and on and on right up to the dinner, the uh, Dolly the sheep and dinner being created. There's even a little crossword at the end because it is a newspaper after all. And then we've got the uh, letters, which is quite amusing. Darwin debate must be rational. Scientists are in a Dolly daydream. No to nuclear. Uh, just somebody complaining about the Fukuyama disaster. Uh, curse these iron horses. Reading your art, recent article, Mr. Watt's new engine, it is clear to me this machine will face a dire threat to the established social order as these steam power monsters choke up the countryside. So proper good irate uh, newspaper letters. Uh, and at the back then there's a quiz as well. And at the very, very back there's even a little bit of fun all about the other What on Earth books. Two more of which I have here, which I'll quickly run through for you. So we've got the big history uh, timeline war book and again it starts starts right back at the beginning literally with the big bang and it goes through and we've got the earth the land and the sea so it has the formation of those things and the solar system the formation of the solar system before that and then it's got the, the, the dinosaurs and all that sort of shebang into the stone ages um, and then we are going to have the sign of the sky, sea, land carries on. Then there's more time I join it. So this one, if you look out of the wall, we start off with land and the sea, and then more come up and join it. And you can see that there, they kind of come up and, and take over, because obviously the land and the stuff hasn't changed that much in the last, uh, so this is 7,000 years. So again, the time, time runs at the bottom of this one. So you've got 14 billion years ago at the beginning, up to about 7,000 pretty quickly. We've got Asia, Middle East, and Europe. And Americas, America starts about 1000 BC, uh, and it goes right through. So we've got some Aztecs there, I can see. So the uh, uh, rise of the Ottomans and uh, kings of Europe, uh, Fibonacci, things going on in the Earth, the exploration of the Earth. Copernicus, is that? No, it's just European, uh, no, it's just explorers going around. Christian Crusaders briefly recapture the holy city of Jerusalem. The Ottoman Empire extends its sphere of influence across North Africa, the Middle East, and Anatolia. So already we're up to 1800. And then it's another two metre timeline, and then it goes right up to formation of the United Nations, World War II, uh, problems in Israel, invention of the high speed train, I think that is. Oh no, the European community, yeah, and the high speed rail is, is pioneered in France. Uh, the Channel Tunnel, the Welsh Assembly, the Scottish Parliament, um, the presidents, uh, so it goes Clinton. George W. Bush, Obama, and it even has the new guy, whoever he is. Uh, apartheid in Africa, or in South Africa, building the Sydney Opera House. It goes right up to modern day things. So the president of Sydney Opera House is sort of 30 years old now or more, so that probably wasn't the best one to choose to go right up to modern day, but it does go right up to modern day. And again, you have the uh, scientists detect Big Bang Echo. Solar system origins clouded in swirls of gas. So again, you have this newspaper thing here, Planet Crash Theory for Moon. Life's epic leap from simple to complex. So it kind of goes into more detail about the important things in our evolution and, the, and in, in our history. Tantalizing clues, but no real answers yet on life's origins. Uh, meet Lucy, the first upright chimp. King Tut reveals, uh, King Tut reveals Egyptian riches. Giant tsunami destroys Minoans. And so that is the uh, history one. And again, I think we have a quiz at the back we do. There's no crossword in this one that I can see. We've got more letters at the page. Oh, there is a crossword. There's the crossword. So yes, where shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? It says, so that is all about Shakespeare. So that is the history one. And the nature one, this is in conjunction with the uh, London's Natural History Museum. And again, it's pretty great. Look at that cover. Absolutely amazing cover. Dinosaur made up of all sorts of natural things. This is the Nature Timeline War book, so it starts right at the beginning, back four and a half million years ago. Uh, rising magma, pyrite. I'm guessing there's gonna be some stromatolites in here somewhere. Trilobites, algae, cyanobacteria, choanoflagellates, flagellates, uh, each their own. <clears throat> so then it goes through the history, so the evolution of dinosaurs there. This is uh, an absolute nightmare for any creationists who might be watching, uh, but it goes through uh, the, uh, the history of the dinosaur, evolution of the dinosaur, right up to into mammals, the lion, tiger, and keeping going, keeping going. So we're down here at uh, 4.8 million years ago, 3.4, uh, right up to the tractor. Uh, I think I've jumped a bit there, I must have folded it up wrong. Uh, 
We've got apes, I don't know, we've got apes walking homo neanderthals 80,000 years ago. And oh yes, it folds out. So actually, yes, there's right are literally as you would expect right at the end of the timeline for that one. Uh, domestication of animals, um, growing of uh, domestication of fruit, uh, fruit, food, uh, crops, crops. That's the word I wanted. Uh, digging, uh, digging into the into the earth's crust to bring out minerals, Iron Age, and such like. So they are three fabulous books. I, I spent more time on the science one. That was purely because I looked at it first. They're all great. They're all brilliant. In this pack here, uh, which helpfully does, this is $34.95, so not super cheap, but brilliant. They've all got the magnifiers in. Brilliant for children, inquisitive children, uh, in a classroom situation, because it'd be really good, although you probably keep losing the magnifier. Uh, these are really great. That's not all they do. Hopefully in the new year, I shall be back with some more of the smaller stuff they do. They do sticker books and extra books, and I shall bring you some of those. But they are the nature timelines. I thoroughly recommend those. If you've got a vague thing in history, interest in history, kids are interested, they can just sit and spend a lot of time just looking at that, finding out stuff, finding out how everything fits in. What I really like about it is it runs everything concurrently so you can see where, where what was happening with what, which is really nice. Sometimes in history that gets a bit lost. You don't realise that X was happening at exactly the same time as Y. So they are the what on earth um, what on Earth timelines? They are from uh, from the What on Earth. I think they're called What on Earth. Uh, yes, What on Earth Books dot com. It says on the back they are smallish. I think publisher uh, based in the UK. So thanks to them for sending me these, and I hope you enjoy those. Do check them out. They're really great. And if you have any questions, do pop them in the comments, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. If you uh, like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you like the books, go out and buy them. Okay. Cheers. Thank you very much. Until next time. Well, I shall say it again. Have a great Christmas and a very happy New Year. And Pete and I will see you in the new year. I'll see you with some books in the new year. And until then, take care. Goodbye.